Chandragupta also leads India in Civilization VI Rise and Fall. He unified much of the Indian subcontinent, building one of the largest empires in the region. He later abdicated his throne, renounced everything, and died an enlightened Jain monk. Chandragupta is the second alternative leader to join the Civilization VI leader lineup. These different leaders allow players to take the Civ strengths in slightly different directions. While Gandhi's empire flourishes in times of peace, Chandragupta allows you to play as India more aggressively. Chandragupta gets India's unique ability Dharma, as well as the ability to build step wells and Varu units. His unique ability is Arthashastra. After researching the military training civic, he may declare a war of territorial expansion, with additional movement and combat strength during the opening turns of the war. Chandragupta is a powerful expansionist leader with an elephant-mounted army to support him on his way to a domination victory. Building plenty of step wells will be the key to keeping your people housed and fed as you expand your reach across continents. Will your empire grow vast and strong? How will you lead India in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Rise and Fall?